On the 4th of March 2020, I left school pretty sure that I will be there on the coming day. But what happened was actually the exact opposite. That evening, the Ministry of Education, due to COVID-19 outbreak in the country, announced the decision of school closure for two weeks. The virus was spreading all over the world until it was announced as a global pandemic on March 11, 2020. At that moment, I realized that the matter is more complicated than what I expected. It was a tough time which the whole world went through, facing countless challenges, perhaps the most prominent continuity of learning. However, since necessity is the mother of invention, the distance learning system on 22 March 2020 was implemented for the first time in the UAE, reflecting the innovation in the world of communication and technology. From there, we can derive the true meaning of innovation in education. When we talk about innovation in general, then we all know that it means a new idea, method, or device. Or in other words, the introduction of something new. But when talking about innovation in education specifically, then what's meant is to solve a real problem, facing education in a simple way to make the alternative educational process a more affecting one. With the first wave of COVID-19 invading the world, attending school in person became impossible for the sake of students' health. So schools and universities were put in a situation where they needed to find a way to continue learning, especially that the disease was spreading rapidly, making us clueless about when would it end. Therefore, an optimal innovative solution has emerged, which was online learning. The Ministry of Education made a tremendous efforts in order to ensure the success of the operation. It implemented a specialized remote training for more than 34,000 teachers and administrators in both public and private schools here in the country. In addition to that, cooperation was made with Hamdan bin Muhammad Smart University and a free online course entitled how to become a remote teacher in only, in only 24 hours was launched to train the teaching and academic staff how to really manage and operate an online, an online classroom. The ministry has also equipped two operation centers provided with modern screens and, and systems to monitor the learning process and to ensure the smooth handling of the information. Imagine all of this being done in only two weeks, thanks to technological inventions. And of course, the fact that a whole new system is being utilized for the first time made all of the stakeholders, including administrators, teachers, students, and even parents, face a lot of difficulties. I remember well the first time I've joined an online session, or sorry, the first time I tried to do so. Yes, I failed to join the session since I didn't really know how to use the app through which the class will be held. To me as a student, when online learning first started, I encountered many challenges in adapting with the totally new online learning environment after being completely used to the traditional one. In addition to that, I was facing some difficulties in using the app through which the classes will be given. And besides this, technical issues were always bothering me. And when looking to my colleagues, their situation was similar to what I personally went through. But after all, we overcame these challenges and we spent two academic years studying online. While in other regions of the world, education has stopped without having any alternatives. And here, the importance of innovation in education is illustrated.
The experience of distance learning is not something limited to the corona period as many people believe. Instead, it has changed the educational system significantly. A real revolution in education has occurred. Being a student, I could say without no doubts that it really has changed education. My iPad that I was prohibited to bring into class became now an integral part of my learning process. I'm no longer restricted to do things in one certain way. Instead, I have several choices to choose from the most appropriate one to me. In addition to that, this matter gave the teachers a great opportunity to diversify the methods of presenting their lessons. Nowadays, teachers can easily access plenty of websites and apps that they can use to make a classroom more enjoyable. And this is mainly to avoid making students getting bored. Also, involving technology in the classroom has reduced our dependence as students on the teacher. Previously, if a question came up to my mind, I would immediately ask the teacher for an answer. But now, things have changed. Having my device with me, if a question came up to my mind, I would give myself the chance to search it myself and try to find an answer. One last thing, previously, if I had a presentation, the only way that it could reach my class and be presented there is by saving it on a flash. Now, things have changed. I could, just, I could just simply screen mirror it, or maybe just submit it online. Or I can use one of the other various ways of doing this thing, and it would be just completed successfully. As Steve Jobs once said, innovation is the ability to see change as an opportunity and not a threat. I truly believe that education is necessary for us to live and thrive. No matter what's being the circumstances, learning should proceed. And in order to achieve this, we should, we should be constantly innovating to meet the changes of our un unpredictable globalized world. And thank you.